are you, miss? I'm great. What kind of alcohol and money do you have? Well, um, <coughs> well, always a pleasure when you stop by, Jake. <laughs> Uh, what's, no, really. What's happening with Westmead? What, what's what's the story here? What? Well, I, I ever ever since uh, Princess Danny was brought out of her uh, uh, sleep, um, things have really been happening. I'd heard that some sort of magic wand was used. Um, one of the guys goes hey, 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 in the background, and. Um, now she's awake, but uh, her father, her father uh, had a fit, and so uh, they they gave him laudanum. Oh dear. Oh yes. Well, that cures most things: toothache, dysentery, gout, fits, blindness, everything. I'm gonna make a pharmacy roll to see if I know what the hell uh, laudanum sure. is. Go for it. No, that's a fail. It sounds good to you. Anyway, <laughs> he says, but, uh, oh, hysterical pregnancy cures it all. But um, she's now been imprisoned in the tallest tower because she refuses to uh, marry the king of Westmead. And I'm not sure when we'll hear Westmead's response. They are a nearby island country, but I'm sure that their spies are already reporting back. We have probably only a few days. As far as how to get into the front, um, well, if you, uh, I think that the army is probably, um, going to be dealing with that and such. Um, okay. if, if they actually attack, how are the other houses reacting? Well, uh, because of the, our, our trade that all, all the houses have gotten, uh, uh, a lot of trade going with the new world and such. So yeah, it, everybody's in a frenzy right now. Yeah, I hear there are privateers on the high seas. Curse them! He spits on the ground. So yes, uh, there's a there's a lot going on and whatnot, and but uh, yes, uh, are they also uh, combatants? Australians, yes. I see. Oh well, I I had heard that the uh, the uh, ambassador for the King of Australia was in town recently with Alex Kinley, who I'm not sure how to feel about. <laughs> He's a powerful sorcerer, though. He uh, uh, disappeared <clears throat> from the throne room in full view of uh, the court. Wow! Along yeah. with somebody named Fulton, right? Hmm. But, is, there, yeah. is there anything hanging on the walls? Oh yeah, there's there's uh, whatever their house crest type thing is for uh, the Cosmo house. They have probably some sort of neat old world quasi Italian looking thing, like a Florida de lis, but different. I'm sure. Is it but yeah, you, huh? you get to learn what House Cosmo's crest is. So cool. Yeah, everybody likes wearing tabards with that and all that stuff. It it seems that the sword fighting in this time um is really old fashioned because you know they've got pistols and stuff and you know, but uh, they they trained it for dueling. So if if people have a dispute and go to a area to duel, then they can do it with swords or they can turn and fire a pistol at each other. But swords are concerned much more fucking manly. Agreed. Mm. So, uh, yeah. but uh, I have heard if you're looking for work, um, I, I've heard that a dragon hunt is uh, being organized uh, by, uh, in order to take his mind off of things by Ridgewell Hawks. I heard you. I remember you mentioned you were looking for work, so I did some investigating, and uh, yeah, that could be of interest to you. Sure, sure. Hunting dragons. That's right. 
Well, you did mention you're a fighter, and from what I've heard, of your reputation seems pretty solid there. Yes, indeed. Where can I uh, get contact with uh, Mr. Hawks? He gives you the information and such, and he, he says, eh, hey, head over there. Um, yeah, just okay. just tell him, tell him uh, uh, that we, we sent you and such. In fact, I'll have one of my guys take you over to make sure you can find the place and all that. Well, oh, thank you, Converto. Of course, of course. So, yes, um, is there anything else that uh, we can do for you right now? No, I think we're set. Uh, just uh, wanted to keep in touch with you, man. All right. Well, I'd better get back to training. If you're, uh, I'm not sure how long you'll be gone. Uh, a couple weeks is my guess. But when you get back, I'll buy you a drink at the uh, uh, Brass Bear. Very good. Very good. You notice that the woman with no name's eyes glistened when uh, the word drink came up. <laughs> You wouldn't happen to have a bottle of whiskey for my friend here, would you? They send somebody off for one. They come back with it. There you go. Me try. Thank you. Close sensibility relationships. <laughs> he looks like she's small. I'm going to drink all that. Time. What? Oh yeah, yeah. She'll um, she'll put that away in no time. All right. So. Um, I guess we're heading to the Hawks estate. No problem. You go over there. It's it's one of the petty nobility estates and whatnot. You get to meet Ridgewell Hawks. Your first thought in mind is Fop. He dresses a bit effeminate. Um, he's the kind of guy that if he can actually kill anything, it will be a miracle. Pale, watery eyes, pale skin. He looks like he's had too much good wine. Um and he's like, oh, good. Yes, more people. I do not wish to dissipate my strength like a common ruffian upon other uh, crap along the way. I will save my strength for the main battle with the wagon. Plus, the baggage trains, bards, minstrels, and such will need some protecting. Uh, the, the pay is... Uh, uh, 200 guilders per week, uh, one week paid now, one week when we get back. Sound good, guys? Sounds good. All right. Excellent. We will be traveling from here to a mountain known as Your Finger, You Fool. You, that is a long name for a mountain. It is, but apparently when they came here and were talking to the natives, uh, they kept pointing at things and asking for the names of them. Are we uh, are we bringing any Aussie fingers to fight the dragon with? No, of course not. We're going to do in the traditional way. I will be on a charge mounted charger with a lance. It is tradition. So you will okay. kill the dragon yourself, or like? But, uh, yes, you will kill everything else. I will combat the dragon. Everything else? Like what? What else is there? Anything else along the way? Yes. All right. Uh, you'll you'll make a tidy four hundred gilda for this. For and, killing a bunch of little peons, I'm cool with that. Yeah. Excellent. And <laughs> what if the dragon kills you? Uh, it's not possible. I am one of the best warriors. Of, excuse me, I need to vomit. Uh, I shouldn't have eaten that extra helping of shrimp. But uh, yes, don't don't you worry about it. Uh, mm. Will you pay us before we leave? I'm paying one week before we leave and one week when we return. I'm just worried that if you don't return, we won't get our money. Of course I'll return. My returning is what gives you the money. Oh, my God. Okay. Hey, uh, save me quick 200 gilder here. <laughs> <laughs> Great. No problem. Uh, you discovered that there are an ass load of people that are going, and there's a bunch of other guards as well. You guys are uh, fortunately not just the only fucking people. Um, so, yeah. Is there any kind of like armament area? Yeah. 
<laughs> uh, no, no, everybody's expecting you to break your <laughs> All right, cool. I got my dagger. I'm cool. Yeah, uh, they, they you eventually uh, do get taken to somewhere and given given uh, um, a rifle because they think that your dagger is pathetic. However, uh, they are going to take that out of your pay, but you get paid now, so you'll have money to uh, get the rifle with. I, I you can keep your rifle. I'll take it off the guy who dies. Mm. Now you need a rifle. They tell you. No, and you're going to charge me for something you're making me take. Correct. Screw you. Let's see now. Uh, oh, they give me. If I have a rifle, how much is a rifle? I am... Can I just kill that guy for a rifle and take his? No. Okay. Uh, 15 shots, lever action, one every other round. I don't see any price. Neither do I, which disturbs me mightily. Um, is a sword cheaper? Yeah, they they're not going with giving you a sword, sir. Sorry. Um. Wow, I got the prices for everything except the weapon. I think it'll go in under complex weapon. Oh yeah, well made bow and guns and fifty guilders for the rifle. Uh, there are two guilders for uh something to put it in, like the big uh holster thing and there are two guilders for a box of 100 bullets so i uh, now do you want um you're you're forced to buy a rifle so basically even starting out on this you're down 54 guilders so 200 minus 54 is uh, 146 you're only getting 146 guilders but yeah, you get a rifle and as uh was pointed out the rifle does d10 but it's every other round that you can shoot because between that time you're going chunk chunk and bolt actioning it right clunky piece of crap that i'm going to be swimming in in one or two rounds mm -hmm. and re reloading it during combat probably not going to happen because it's like open this and go chink, 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 chink. how many rounds did we get uh well you got a box of 100 the rifle holds 15 okay. shots so if you have to use more if you're fighting for more than 30 rounds to empty your rifle chances are good you're fucked if you'd also like to get a pistol then that is pretty much the same cost it's another uh 54 that includes in our 100 rounds of ammo and stuff now with the pistol you can go bang 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 and shoot off all six rounds actually really quick you can shoot them off in three rounds if you're double tapping but after it's empty then you know reloading is really slow because you have to open a little door and then take out a bullet and put it in and then rotate the cylinder and then take out a bullet put it in and rotate cylinder these are not fucking speed loader friendly at all but they also do d10 personally uh the the guy recommends getting a rifle and a pistol because the pistol is good for close in the rifle is going to be your main tool and you know uh they're they're good generic things within town you have to keep it peace bonded but outside of town you can uh, uh just carry carry weapons around okay that, that goes to pretty much any town I marked off Gilder for both a pistol and a rifle. Yeah. So are, we, uh, are, we, are we bringing any heavy armaments with us? Um, no, no. He, he doesn't think they'll be necessary. Um, you know, facing a dragon, I think I'd like to have an Aussie finger in tow at least. Yeah, yeah. Um, he, he doesn't have access to anything like that because he's not in the military. Right. So um, he, he shrugs and goes, I'm sure it'll be fine. I like his confidence. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You're sure nothing bad will happen. Nothing will go horribly, horribly wrong. And, you know, you're coming out with nearly 100 Gilder just out of the gate, you know. This is horrible. Uh-huh. <laughs> so... Right, you guys are ready even, to rock? I don't even use money. Why are you redoing this? Well, Because you want to buy your booze. Uh, uh. What about the close person or anything? Okay. 
No, stick with me. I can get you free booze. Huh. But you cut her off. Yes. That wasn't free. <laughs> hmm. Okay, no problem. Um, <laughs> you guys start off the dragon hunting by getting on a train. <laughs> Fortunately, all your trains... <laughs> I'm not even kidding. This guy's such a... Oh he is a fop to end all fops. Oh, yeah. You should see how long his fucking baggage train is. He has a selection of fine wines and shit. If Yana had more skill at pickpocketing and shit, she would be set for the journey. But as it is, I, she just doesn't have the skills to be stealing this guy's fucking booze. Uh, I might but, have the skills, <laughs> and I actually like sticking it to rich people. Well, I was going to say, if you want, if you, if you want to do it, uh, I well, I'd wait until you actually get there. But you're going to be in the train for five hours, and uh, you're 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 leaving Melwix and you're heading toward uh, the Freewood Mountain Pass. It, you're told it's clo it, it's uh, the the Freewood Mountain Pass is close to the border. <coughs> between uh, uh, Genovia and Alphon, and there's an ass load of soldiers that take the train to go there and such, and wounded ones that come back on the train. So you get to see that kind of stuff. But the Mountain Dragon Inn, you're gonna be staying at for the first night because fuck camping, okay? <laughs> Uh, the, the Mountain Dragon Inn is a combination of way station, inn, pub, restaurant, general store, steam blowing off place for soldiers that are stationed further in at the Freewood Pass, and it's built inside of a, a wooden fort. Uh, the, it's where the train line ends, okay? Um, yeah. So... Uh, now, go ahead, and, Jeremy, give me your stealing booze from the rich guy uh, uh, pickpocketing type role. Is it lockpicking or pickpocketing? Pickpocketing. Oh, yeah. It's, right. it's Excuse me, guys. I need a bio break. Right. All right. Pickpocketing. Super success. That's a high 53, so I think that's a crit. Yana, he's, he's brought back enough that uh, uh, you're not even worried for the rest of the trip. Uh, Thank you. She doesn't get any. This is mine. Oh. Hey. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't understand. You must be confusing. I, I, I guess you, you did attempt to skin my rat. I give her two of the flagons I've stolen. Thank you. <laughs> More will come later, I'm sure. <laughs> no problem. After that, you, uh, the, the next day, you'll be hiking into the, uh, uh, the mountains toward your finger, you fool. <laughs> you had fun naming that mountain. I really did. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's another mountain called what? The mountain? <laughs> <laughs> Stuff like that, yeah. So there, there's a lot of lovely names and shit. <laughs> Yeah. So uh, in the train, there are mostly like our group and then the, some kind of soldiers and stuff like that. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, there, there's there's uh, also just uh, every now and then there's, well, on, on this train ride, there's also a couple people who aren't soldiers or whatever, who maybe are going to work at the, the inn and such. You know, I, but it's not, it's not a, it's, where you're going is not really a big tourist area. Yeah. Who are the richest looking of the people who are going to be fighting with us? Uh, every, everybody except for the guy who's in charge and his butlers, body servants, liberated servants, etc. Because the, they're servants, so you don't know if they actually have any money, but only the guy who's in charge of this hunt seems to be the rich guy. Er, but the other people who are bodyguarding or guards and stuff seem to be kind of, I mean, they're, they're dressed in like good sturdy clothing and shit, but they look like uh, they're just mercenaries and stuff. I mean, um, I'm wearing armor that are roughly the same size as me. Armor? No. No, no. As soon as guns get invented, people really fall off on the armor a lot. 
unless they're Spaniards. Because yeah. <laughs> they like wearing that shit and going to the fucking jungle for some reason. Yeah. It did them pretty good for a couple hundred years. Yeah, oh yeah. But now armor doesn't appear to be a huge thing here, unless unless it's like uh, some of the city guards and the more ceremonial things. All right, I pick out some cool guys and I start sharing my wine with them. Nice, no problem. Give me a fast talk roll. This is your general making friends thing. The wine doesn't hurt at all. I'll give you a plus ten percent for the wine. I think that's barely a success. A second, fast talk, barely a success. They think you're fine. Yeah, plus you bring booze. So, you know, it's really hard to go far wrong. But eventually you guys cut to after staying in the inn and stuff. And you guys got to stay in one of the more common rooms where there's a bunch of different people and stuff. You didn't get your own rooms and stuff, although the guy running this thing did. But he is spending a lot of money for this because he's hired a lot of people and they're getting the same deal as you guys. Um. But eventually, you guys are wandering through the mountains. Everybody give me a survival mountain. If you fail, you're not going to die or anything horrible. This is for extra comfort uh, because you are going to be camping out and stuff in the mountains now and then. Okay. I'm not comfortable. Hard fail. I didn't make it, but I did make my survival desert, if that's worth anything. <laughs> not at all. Um, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, you guys are all pretty goddamn miserable. Uh, you're also convinced that if the baggage train wasn't here, you would die. Do, do I get any favors from any of the guys I gave wine to to make favors, this slightly more comfortable? Favors, no, but, uh, well, none of them are very comfortable. But okay. uh, you're pretty convinced that they're not automatically going to shoot you in the back to take your rifle. So that's a good thing. Cool. Can't say Yay. the same for them. All right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I figure you're going to be looting the fuck out of them as soon as possible. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, eventually, and oddly, nobody really is interested in attacking the well-guarded baggage train as you guys are going through the mountain and such. But after a few days being in the mountain with the 30 porters, 20 hangers on, a team of bards who are there singing and composing songs... Um, uh, they've had a couple of different orgies, uh, not for you guys. You guys had to guard while they were having their orgies. Nice. Uh, dr every night, drink, drugs, orgies, music. How this guy expects to encounter any wildlife is a mystery to you. The, 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 uh, just the noise of the, the wagon train as it moves and people going, Oh, what's that? Is that a bad, oh, you know? This pretty much has driven off most of the wildlife. Um, yeah. Let's see. Uh, in the mountain, uh, you guys are traveling at a super slow speed as people are constantly uh, twisting their ankles and needing to rest. And then that, that night, they're dancing around like freaks and shit. Um, but eventually, uh, you guys are kind of send up like looking for stuff give me spot hidden rolls as you're doing you're not super advanced recon you're maybe like 100 meters ahead of them like about a football field ahead of the swarm yana yana's crunching through shit and ignoring it she doesn't care she's angry because she hasn't gotten as much alcohol as she needs yeah, exactly i exceeded by it's by halves and quarters right half and quarter yeah I succeeded or minus by 30, half. minus 60. Oh, I succeeded by half. Great. Uh, Phil's the first to notice that he finds a bunch of little statues of birds and shit laying around. It appears Yana stepped on one and that made a crunching noise, and then she goes <laughs> and looks for what crunched. Yes. I made a basic success. Right, right. You you notice event. You notice when she crunches, and you're not sure what's up with the uh, uh, birds in flight, little statues and stuff. And many of them already seem broken, not including the one Yana's still standing on as she slowly scans the horizon. <laughs> okay, um, I pocket one. That's actually in there. They're, they seem life sized. Oh, oh, okay. So they're pretty big birds. Uh -huh. are, are they all the same 
like uh, species of bird or is it various species? Various. And also uh, with your half, you see a squirrel looking at you, but it seems to be made of stone over there. Oh, no. Oh, she no. She says. This, this seems like either there's some very, very persistent artists around here or something that turns animals into stone. Everybody give me a smell roll also. Damn it, and I got rid of my plus 20 smell card. Ain't that a bitch. <laughs> Fail. Um, nice. Uh, smell. smell is not a basic skill. It's under, um, it's under spot hidden. Oh, there we go. Fail. 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 Yes. Oh, I fell. Yes. Cool. It just shows the air wafting by you guys and stuff. It looks like uh, also some of the vegetation here and there. Does anybody have natural history? Because it seems like kind of I'm, hotter colors than you're really used to for here and there. I have botany. What What's that, Yana? What about botany? Yes, botany would work perfectly well. Natural history or botany? Botany Maybe. is even better. I know about plants. Excellent. A I lot of... Hmm? I fail anyways. Is oh, that a fumble there, Phil? Yes, I fumbled on botany. Excellent. He's like, holy shit, this plant's worth a lot of money. He just rips it and sticks it in his pocket and goes, I'm taking this with me. All right. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's the burrs and the shit that he's got in there. Anyway, Yana, you noticed that... Not uh, in, not in a really uniform way, but many of the plants around here have been poisoned. Uh oh. Possibly by some sort of acidic base thing, and also here and there, some have been chewed on. Is it like is, is the poison mainly around where the statues are? Like is it? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah weird. Yeah. <sighs> So probably the dragon or something brief, something horrible that turns things to stone and is poisonous. As you guys are standing there, you hear the theme music getting closer from the bards playing as the uh, large <laughs> crowd is drawing this is closer. Such a, such a claustrophobic, you know, the dragon will come and eat everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Take a card, Yana. Um, <laughs> Uh, and uh, give me give me tracking rolls at negative thirty, as you know the tracks are not big and obvious. Holy crap! Is that oh, the nice. build of one? And I made my tracking roll too. Okay. Uh, let's see. Making the tracking roll, there's some sort of odd three-toed tracks that are maybe this big across. Um, feels like. Four-legged beast, uh, li like a, uh, a big fucking kimono dragon type of thing. Mm. Yeah. Can I, like, whip up any of my fantasy lore to try and put a name to it? Yeah, yes. Go for it. You have fantasy lore? What kind of fantasy lore? Oh, what no, is... I have animal lore. But... Animal lore? Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, does anybody have cryptozoology? Yeah, actually, I do. <laughs> nice. I learned that at the Shadow Academy. Yes. Oh, but, yes. Oh, that my God. Uh, the, word, the word basilisk is coming to mind there. Okay, guys. Um, it's a basilisk. <laughs> so do I remember that from pop culture from when I was growing up? Yeah, the, the cryptozoology uh, skill is to uh, allow people to basically metagame anything that they know from D&D, &D, et cetera, and stuff. Okay. But if he ever takes your ass to this uh, uh, Shadow Academy he's babbling about, then you too can pick up cryptozoology. Did, does he blah all of the stuff we know blah, about? Blah, blah, okay. blah, blah. <laughs> Even the yeah. show. I mean, the whole thing. I want my I want my friends to know what the hell is going on. Don't let him you, bite you. Don't let him look at you. Don't look at him. Lizard creature that turns people <laughs> to stone. We should probably uh, flank need, this group and see what happens to them. We need a mirror. Yep. If only. I'm pretty sure the rich guy has one. 
Exactly. Yeah. I storm straight back to the uh, cargo or the, the the baggage train and go, any of you fops have a mirror? Fop? Who called me a fop? One of the guys takes out a glove and goes, you, sir, are a card. I take it. You have a mirror. Yeah. My glove. He's taking my glove. I trade you it for a mirror. Taking his glove. Not now. I trade you it for a mirror. Right. Give me a fast talk roll to convince them to give up a mirror. They think Success. that you are. What? Success. Oh. Uh, they, you get a small hand mirror from one of them. He was busy looking at himself in it, but I guess you can borrow it. And I the guy goes, my God, oh, thank goodness you're back. You can be with the other one now. Hello. Hey, can you uh, can you fix this all up with mirrors? I haven't I groomed in a while. I look like shit. I really need to see what's up. Uh... So keep in mind, the mirror's about this yeah, big. Just... And mm -hmm. it's not super reflective like modern mirrors. It's more of a I got an idea of what I look like as opposed to I can see me. It's polished silver or polished steel. Uh huh. Yeah. Quite polished silver. We need something. Uh, better than no mirror. Do we get mirrors? No. <laughs> okay. Also, with, with your cryptozoology, you're thinking a mirror that size will be less than no help. So I, I put it over my eye like a monocle. <laughs> okay, it's a big monocle, but sure. Okay, he's holding it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, chances of having that work are about the same as Logan winning the lottery that he hasn't bought a ticket for. Slap it over the basilisk's eye. We're good. Oh yeah. Well, if you can if you can get that close and do it, sure. I right. The, the rich pup goes. He comes forward and he goes. Why have we stopped? Do you have any lodger mirrors? Well, of course I have my personal mirror. Oh, could I just, like, see it? No. <laughs> Why not? Because it's for me. You you look hideous. You don't need to exactly. see Exactly. I need to see myself so I can, like, do something with it. It's so no, no. Funny. Just go find where the dragon is so uh, I may slay it. Oh, yes, of course, of course. Look, he holds up a picture of a, a stereotypical red dragon, like the big fucking thing. Find this, and uh -huh. I will, and then he holds up another picture of a knight on a horse who looks much tougher and dressed in metal and has a lance and shit and looks very much unlike this. And then I will ride it. He makes it right. Pull the dragon and say Yes, it. you had very Anything good. else you kill. Yes. We, we found the dragon. He's over there. Logan, he I just realized that I'm sitting on a Spark of Divinity card, so I'm going to play that. Okay. He, he looks and he goes, I don't see a dragon. Go find the dragon, flush it out, and bring it here. Okay. Great. Could we just, like, buy a costume of a dragon and, like... No, I you cannot. Off you go, he says. Go, go, go. I go to where all of the other We're people are. Up the dragons close by. They will go flush it out. The rest of you uh, get set up. All right. So he told all of the guards to go flush it out. All right. Yeah, cool. He told you to flush it out. He told them to get set up. Oh, okay. So all the guards are just hanging out? <clears throat> Could we just uh -huh. steal his mirror? <laughs> Could. Potentially. Probably be very difficult. Uh, you are literally in a baggage train of people. The mirror that is his is taller than any of you okay. and wider because that way he can see his magnificence all at once. And in fact, his mirror even has candle holders that have been mounted into it so that that way he can have it lit up and see the magnificence that's him. Now, if him and the baggage train all die, it could be your mirror. Yeah. I'm st yes. start, starting to think that's the way to go. The that horses and such, the horses and mules and things seem very fucking agitated and nervous. People whose job is animal handling are have their hands full right now. They're busy hobbling the creatures. Hobbling so they can't walk? 
hobbling me where where you tie a uh, rope between the front two legs so they can kind of walk but only in like it, 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 as opposed to running the fuck away gotcha. which they want to do so the basilisk is near which means we can hide and let all of these people die i think that's um um i think we should get out of earshot of uh, uh ridwell here <laughs> but um yeah, do you well, guys want to go out of earshot, like toward the area that you're supposed to go, and then you'll be out of earshot, and maybe out yeah. of, yeah, because um, somebody's like, I don't want to die. Okay, well, before we leave, I say, you're all going to die, and then we walk away. Yeah. Somebody threw an egg at you, <laughs> an egg. and it's a hard-boiled egg, too. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sun damage, Logan? No, no. Okay. It's just a, it's an egg. <laughs> so you guys go off. You're you're no longer within sight or hearing of the rest of the people to discuss your plans of like looting their corpses, which is great. Yeah, uh, that is the most likely way to get a bunch of money out of this. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm gonna have Jeremy do the roll. Nobody else, just Jeremy. Uh, give me a luck roll, Jeremy. This is while you guys are discussing your plans. Uh, my luck's actually pretty decent, so that might not suck. Let's see. Where's my luck at? Oh, uh -huh, you know you're good. success. Damn it. I was really hoping for a fumble, and you okay, blah, 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 blah. It's like, rah! <laughs> 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 so anyway, yeah, go ahead and discuss your plans if you wish. You are not far off from it, you think, maybe... The air has a oh everybody give me taste rolls. The crust. Oh, the air. Oh. Ooh. Fail. Okay. The rock notices nothing. Uh, the air, air. You other two notice the air has kind of a bad acidic type taste to it, kind of tinny bad. I think our friend is near. Yeah. Mm. So go ahead and discuss your plans and shit. So, all right. What do you want to do? Oh, by the way, just so you guys are aware, everybody was seen leaving with this guy and such, and people know that you went on this yeah, mission that's, that's, thing. It wasn't like you know you lived in a bubble or something. Yeah, that's so, a problem. Yeah. <laughs> How's that a problem? We just say we were out on patrol and we came back and everyone was dead. Yeah, but you know, it's kind of weird, especially if we like bring with us all their stuff and... <laughs> she speaks from it, experience. You bring it to a different city, you fence it all for like 10% of what it's worth, you still walk away with thousands of Gelder and you're good. How many days into the mountains are we, Logan? Three or four, just enough that you should all die before you get back without the baggage train. <laughs> Because not all of you are city city people who, if there's not a fucking in serving food, <laughs> that means you go hungry. <laughs> so you're just far enough in that you'll probably die of thirst or something horrible. Right, right, okay. Mm. All right, so plan. Uh, don't look at it. Did you well, when when you made your successful roll? You don't have a sixty in that skill, but did you make it by half? Because I remember you rolled a six or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I did make it by half. Ah, good news and bad news here. The good news is you don't have to worry about looking at it. The bad news is that if it looks at you, then you might die, whether you're looking at it or not. You're thinking of a gorgon, which is different than a basilisk. I see. I see. Yeah. That's actually. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. Plus, it has other attacks and stuff that are really bad. Uh, something about poison and shit like that. It, it just gets worse the more you know. Generally, well, it doesn't like turning us into steel because then it can't eat or stone because then it can't eat us. So that's like a last ditch thing. Yeah, but it can poison us and stuff. Yeah. Mm hmm. Well, like one thing is to find a semi-safe spot somewhere a little bit more. Yeah. Like, How you guys are climbing trees? Yeah, I can succeed at it if I'm lucky. Something like that. If we were somewhere like 
hidden somewhere up maybe and just try to yeah. shoot it to death. I think I should go get someone, a volunteer from the baggage train, one of the guards of the baggage train, see if he wants to help us flush it out. So I think I'm going to go do that, if you guys are cool with it. Because he can stand on the ground and we can climb trees. <laughs> I don't know if the trees are the best, but mm. there isn't probably, I don't know if there is something better here. How, how does the like nature around look like? It, it's a lot of the pine trees, and as you know, climbing a pine tree is one of the worst but, possible experiences because of all the oily sap and shit that sticks to your clothes and your hands, and it's just <laughs> fucking horrible. It can be done, but you'll regret doing it. There are some rocks here and there that you could get up onto. There is, in other words, if you want an elevated platform, mm -hmm. I'd, I'd personally go for like a miscellaneous pile of stones. Now, might it be able to climb up that? It's possible, but on top of a pile of stones, it's kind of good news, bad news, because you're more visible. However, it, you can also see more, whereas being inside of a pine tree, you see a hell of a lot less. Yeah. Right, yeah, okay, so we're going to find some high ground. Right, now, as far as trying to get some sucker to uh, <laughs> come and help you out, uh, since he did share drinks with people, I will allow him a roll at negative 30 or half his choice to find somebody to want to do bait for him. Is this bad it's, talk, I assume? Uh-huh. It's highly unlikely that you'll find anybody who goes, that sounds great. I am happy to risk my life for you, guy that I barely know. I'm going to do it at half because then I get one more point. Great. That's a success. That's a success. Oh, nice. You might just talk him into it. And he's, he's like, doesn't look really happy. He's like, okay, so. <laughs> he's, got, he's got the why am I doing this look on his face. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, he, he's going to come over and watch you guys get set up so that he knows where to go. Um, so, basically, you want me to go and get it to chase me and then. I'll go run by you guys and you'll shoot it? Exactly. Exactly. It's not that bad. It's great. It's great because you are totally you, safe. You don't have to fight it. You just keep running back to the baggage train after we shoot it. You, you don't yeah. have to fight this thing. You have nothing to fight at all. You just came and you go, you go away immediately. So it's like totally safe. It's the best job there is, you know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. You are great. You are so heroic for this. We have a close personal relationship, right? So you will do it. First. What's your name again? <laughs> <laughs> this is Raji. Raji, we got your back, man. You can count on us. Okay. I, I take out a notebook. Raji, when was you, what year were you born? What? <laughs> For your, no, never mind. <laughs> he scowls at you. Right. Do you right. have a Do you have a will? Perhaps. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do this. You guys were saying it was an easy job and stuff. Oh, uh, we're just playing we're just with you, Raji. This will be easy. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just okay. like our our way of bonding with people. You know, letting uh, them okay. die. Right, Raji. Raji goes over toward like a hill thing and he's going to go over the hill and he's going to go take a look and My, yeah, I, we, we should find some the higher ground and like prepare maybe some some like little wall we can like hide yeah some cover that's yeah. that's what i was thinking too i don't know if you're gonna have time for cover because raji's already going out to try to get it right now he, he didn't know about the way <laughs> that you guys made rocks walls and shit. well um well, we try to find an outcropping that has some big rocks we can we can put ourselves behind well you haven't found that out yet yana were you calling for him he's at the top of the hill and he looks back he goes what and he goes and turns into fucking stone, and you hear something <sighs> slithering up by right. you. <laughs> right, and right. We, I, I, I dive behind some rocks. <laughs> yeah, uh, pretty much uh, diving onto the ground is as close as you're getting as behind a tree. Uh, no, you you guys were going for the up on a rock thing, so you had better view and stuff. Yeah. Uh, 
Welcome to your dramatic combat. Good luck. Villains are first, but hindered. Heroes are second. Headbutting is approved, but it's not close. It's pretty much out of maximum rifle range at full. It, you see a big, it's a little bit bigger than a kimono dragon comes slithering over the hill, but it bumps into Raji statue that falls on it, and it's like trying to shake that off. So that's its whole round. And apparently Raji is trying to get any breaks. Poor dumb bastard. Um, you guys are to negative 20 to hit the thing because it's got, got statue on it. And only part of it's over the hill right now. But it's very curious as to what all the talking and stuff was. So it's been coming this way apparently for a while. So going down the list. Yana, what do you do? Uh you're approximately like uh, 60, 70 meters from it. Uh, am I in a good hiding spot or is it something better nearby? There's nothing real. You're on top of a bunch of rocks. So mm -hmm. if you get turned into a statue, at least it won't come up here and bump you and cause you to fall over and break. Okay. <laughs> so that's something. Yeah. So I probably try to shoot it even if it's far. Go for it. So it's negative 20? Right now, yes. They don't make it. Excellent. And uh, going for Jeremy, what do you do? Uh, are there any, like, loose rocks on hand? Plenty. I, I grab one and I throw one to try and make as much noise on its way down towards where we want it to walk. You pick up a rock this round. Yes, I pick up a rock. Russ, what do you do? Uh, what is it, minus 20 for a rifle hit? Yeah. All right, I'm going to give it a shot. Nope. Gun Gunshots explode all around this thing. It looks irritated. Next round. Uh, the other people back at the camp hear the gunshots. They are not quite in sight. Next round. Villains are first. Nothing is approved. Uh, the creature looks around blearily to try to figure out where you guys are. Ah, it sees you. Oh, shit. And <laughs> what a great time for a good roll. Yay. Okay, going down the list. Yana, what do you do? Hide. Uh, you lay on the ground and hope it doesn't see you. Excellent. You, you By the way, uh, you can put it at a uh, small minus, not a huge minus, just by laying down on top of the rocks, same way as it is getting some cover by just being yeah. laying down, kind of. Uh, so you get down. Jeremy, you've got a rock. What do you do? It's looking at you guys. All right. Well, the rock's useless now. It knows exactly where we are. Oh, so, yeah. I, what are you saying? I'm useless? <laughs> <laughs> Drop flat. All right. No problem. And uh, uh, Phil, what do you do? Or sorry, not Phil. Rock, what do you do? Uh, uh, prone, prone position. Right. Prone position. Uh, do we get any bonuses to rifle shots for, for being prone? Not really. Yeah. No. Okay. Simple system. Okay. Uh, and I, I pull the lever and ka chunk, get another bullet. Uh, you go prone this round. Next round, you can uh, get our bullet ready. Okay. Okay. So, uh, villains are first, heroes are second, and hindered. Got it. Um, your, bon your, your hiding uh, uh, bonus becomes a little smaller. Screaming in terror as opposed to reloading your rifles is approved. So, Yana, what do you do? Um, I I didn't shoot last time, so I can shoot this time. Sure. Yeah. But I... It's all you. All you. Well, wait, no, you shot. You haven't reloaded your rifle yet, uh, have you? You try yeah. shooting. You want? You go chunk, chunk with your bolt this round. Oh, now okay. you can shoot next round. Jeremy, what do you do? I shoot at it. Uh, come on, I hit enter. Is he still at minus 20? Yeah, yeah, he hasn't. Uh, actually, no, he's not this round because he's beginning to slither in this direction. He wants to get a little closer. Then I hit him. Oh, all right. Roll some damage. All right, and that's a D10. Mm, yep. Woo! Oh, nice. <laughs> Excellent. You give him just enough damage that he's really pissed. Uh, let me yes. roll on his. Let me roll on his uh, maneuver. Oh yeah, he is slithering quickly towards you guys. Nice. <laughs> and 
<laughs> Why do it all so good all of a sudden? <laughs> I don't know. Apparently, you guys are all fated to die now. Okay, so uh, let's see. Everybody's gone. Or wait, did Rock go? No, I I'm prone, and I'm going to reload, and I'm going to look about for escape routes. Um, none, none are good. I mean, you go down on the other side of the uh, the rocks, but it'll just catch you and eat you later. You hear the minstrels uh, preparing uh, combat music, and uh, from the area where they couldn't actually see the lizard, you hear various gunshots going off. <laughs> Villains are first. Hit points and magic points are refreshed. It re it heals the one point of damage you did to it. Uh... Babbling incoherently is approved. For its round, it attempts to slither within range to kill you all. Ooh, it slows down this round a bit. Nice. Um, but, yeah, so it's around 50 meters away. This is not a fast creature. Uh, you may be able to eventually outrun it is your only possible hope. Not going to outrun it. You're going to get killed. So we're going to start off with Yana. What do you do? Shoot. Cool. Oh, right. That's a fumble, right? Yes. Each of the other two, give me a luck roll. If you succeed in the luck roll, she's just managed to jam her gun. If you fail in your luck roll, she's accidentally shot you because she doesn't like you. You might want to hero point that. Uh, I failed my luck roll. I, yeah. I, I hit a point. What? I, I hit a point there. Ah, damn it. Let Logan have his fun. Shoot no. So I made it. Wow. Nice. Your okay, heading over to Jeremy. She hasn't rolled her... Oh, okay. Thanks. Yeah. I figure she can roll her D10 while you're telling me what you want to yeah. do. <laughs> uh, I roll off the far side of the op outcropping. Aha! He says, give me a maneuver roll. Come on, fumble. Yes. Now. All right. Fine, you roll out of its vision. And Russ... It appears that he's already fleeing from the combat, even though she's given it a decent wound. Uh, I square off and take a shot at it. Nice. That is at minus 30, but that's not going to do Give anything. me some damage. Ten. Nice. Holy shit. It stops moving. It goes... <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Meanwhile, you, you see Jeremy's fleeing, and you're like, oh, <laughs> I am wrong. Um, okay, yeah. It, it, apparently, you've killed it, or, oh, wait, no, its belly's still moving, but it's just laying there. Welcome to one hit point where you are just unconscious. <laughs> All right, we got to move in for the kill now before we get a full heal card for the enemies. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But unfortunately, you've got a long way to cover. So let's see what happens. We're going to next round. Uh, villain divert, any action is approved. So uh, if you want to uh, um, give me climb rolls to get off of the rocks safely, I think that'd probably be a good first step. And if you make it, you get a card. I'm using parkour to get down as quickly as possible. Sure. Go for it. If you make it, it's a card. <laughs> right. so it dives off. And roll 2d6 on yourself as you manage to fumble. He pretty much face plants into the uh, big fucking sharp stone at the bottom. <laughs> Actually, I'm putting hero points on that. A, 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 a d12 instead of 2d6 if you don't want a hero point. You can survive a d12. All right. That's the success at half. Great. How how do you other guys uh, do it as far as getting off of the rocks skill? <laughs> Can I maneuver to get up and run in the same round? Uh, yeah, you're not going to get very far, but sure, go for it. All right, I get up and run. Ah, yep, get up and run. Great. Everybody gets a card for succeeding in their thing. I think that's a success for Yana, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. All right, so uh, you're all off of the rocks. Uh, are you going away from the thing, Jeremy, or toward the thing? Toward or the thing. All right, and great. How does cards and hand work during combat now? Because we're not doing the. There's no hand or pool, so you can use cards whenever you want, but you can only have up to four. Okay, that's what I thought. Yep. So, right. next round. Basically, you guys are now in a race between 
uh, getting to it and uh, it waking up. Those are first, all of its stun damage is healed. You weren't doing stun damage, you were doing real damage with rifles, so it doesn't help it. So everybody give me a sprint roll. Uh, the amount of distance you're needing to cover is 50 meters. Ooh. If you're if you're wanting to run up to it. Where's for reasons. Sprint it? Running sprinting. Yep. Running sprinting. I don't sprint. Yeah, yeah I saw it. Can I draw a pistol it. while I'm running? Uh, no, if you make a fast draw pistol, you can. If you fail your fast draw pistol, then you saunter toward it, but draw your pistol. All right, I'm going to try a fast draw pistol. All right. Um, that's a fail. So I Great. saunter. You saunter and slowly pull out your short range gun, as opposed to using your rifle, which is in your hand. So next round. <laughs> By the way, keep track of your own distance. If you fail the running roll or whatever, it's three meters. If you succeed, it's 10 meters. Oh, okay. No one's at first. Eating or drinking is approved. Heroes are hasted. So it continues laying there. Uh, you get two actions, but you can only sprint or you can only do one moving action, but then you can use another action for something else. I don't sprint. She saunters toward it. Do you want to do anything for your other action as you saunter and watch the arc to run ahead of you? Uh, not really. Just wait for them. Okay. Hasted is good. I'm going to reload and then shoot it. You go chunk, rifle. chunk, bang. At last, somebody uses their fucking long range. You drop your pistol on the ground because you yeah. need two hands for a rifle unless you want to fired a big negative i'm rolling damage because that's a hit great i was going to say you're at a big bonus to hit it because it's laying there and not moving nine points it is now fucking dead part of nice. its head is missing all the rest of the sprinting is no longer needed combat's no longer done there's a few more shots in the distance <laughs> and then eventually the foppish guy and his retinue come over and he goes oh Good. <laughs> Who slew this? I did. Good. Oh. Yeah. He 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 hands you he hands you a, a stack of money and goes, "Very good." Thank and you. you may look in the mirror tonight for three minutes. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Such a good. Thank you so much. Yeah, all right, let's, yeah. let's split that stuff up. How much money? I hand it all to him. I don't use money. Ah. No. She, that's one of her weird quirks. She doesn't actually <laughs> use money. Okay. Right. Uh, it, apparently, you're not sure if this is your finishing pay or a bonus or what. But, uh, Yana, give me a luck roll. Lower is better. Oh, I crit it. Critted. Fine. Uh, it is 700 Gilder. Apparently, there's a couple of large denomination notes that he didn't notice tucked in there. <laughs> All right. So, 350 for each of us, Jeremy. Uh, well, and of course, if you want to take extra because one of you is supporting her, <laughs> so otherwise, she gets all stabby and skinny. So, right, um, pretty much you guys end up spending a couple more days in the mountains, wandering around. Oh, is there anything else you wanted to do whilst you were here? Sorry. Um, um, we see. have a place to put the basilisk. Uh, they, can, they can, well, I mean, they don't want to carry a stinking corpse. If, if, it, was, if it was properly uh, uh, prepared and stuff, then they would let you uh, bring it, but you, they're not going to let you just because it freaks out the horses. So if somebody had like taxidermy or something. Uh, I guess let's take its eyes. Mm -hmm. I, Shows them open up the eye. I, I, <laughs> I can try taxidermy. Okay, go for I'm it. I'm not very good at it. But. Go for it. Yeah, well, this is how you get better, is by carving up random shit you find. No. Oh, yeah, well. 
Is there anything else you wanted to do whilst here? Can I try to skin it also? Yes. Anything else? Uh, take its head off and reload. Yeah, 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 yeah. I figure you put more bullets in your gun and shit. Yeah. But is there anything else in the area before they eventually move off? Mm. Cool. No, I'm good. Great. No problem. Uh, you guys uh, eventually, um, eventually the retinue gets tired of looking for a dragon. And so then the and plus they're running running out of like uh, candy yams. <laughs> it's a problem. It is a huge fucking problem for them. And so then they all this huge train gets all taken back uh, to the the inn, and then everybody has a good night's sleep there. And then eventually you get brought back to the city on train. Which is cool because train tickets aren't really cheap, but this guy doesn't seem to give a fuck. And then uh, you guys each get the other two hundred uh, that you were promised. So he's so pretty nice. sure that he, he thinks that was the dragon. No, no, he got bored of looking for it because they couldn't find the dragon. Oh, okay. I gave so. my four hundred to them. Your, your one hundred or your two hundred, two hundred, yeah. You're 146. 200 from before, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, minus the gun stuff. Minus the gun yeah. stuff and all minus, that. Yeah. Yeah. She just gives you a wad of cash because I don't want to buy me alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> okay.